So quick hustle van update for you. Well, a lot of people have been asking what's going on with this van because it's kind of been floating around in the back of some of the videos and it's come together really nicely. So if you've not seen the other episodes, the story behind this is Jazz and Craig who own Hustle Made, the clothing brand, and also uh, CrossFit YouTubers, big in the whole kind of functional fitness scene, asked us to build them a van. And this is the start of it. So in the early stages, I mean, we ordered this so long ago because T611s had such a delay on the production of them. So we picked the colour, we picked the spec, finally arrived, worked our way through the outside, did the suspension, and this is the stage we're at now. So uh, Jazz and Craig are collecting it later today, so I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what has been done so far and what is still to do. Interior-wise, we've not done any of the cupboards or bed or anything yet uh, because that's kind of quite bespoke. What we decided, what we originally planned to do with this van and what we kindly uh, finally decided to do with how we thought it would suit Jazz and Craig changed a bit. So there's a bit of a delay in that and what we're producing. So we've got, the plan is now just to get it on the road. So we've done the exterior styling and then some bits inside to make it a bit more comfortable and a bit more luxury for Jazz and Craig to get on the road and get visiting some CrossFit boxes, assuming we're allowed to now. So I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what's been done inside and show you some little bits that are gonna change before the finished production. But anyway, this is stage one complete. I'll run you through and show you what we've done. So starting off with, as I always say, the best colour, flannel grey, little secret, but my next demo is this colour because I love this one so much. So exterior wise, we've probably already shown you, or you, exterior wise, you've probably already seen the video on the suspension. So we went for the Twin Adjust Project T32 Max Low setup on this and the Navis Twin 5 wheels. Now, this was never the plan with this van, actually. These are, we're going to go for a different wheel setup. So we, there's a new Navis all terrain wheel. In fact, here's a quick sneak peek of what they're looking like. They're in production now. So they will be going on this. We're going to go for the all-terrain look to match the commercial bumpers. We're just waiting for that wheel, the first set of samples to come across and they'll be going on Jazz and Craig's van. So that wheel will be going on there and we're also waiting for the arch trims. So like we've put on the um, Ice Blue van, arch trims would suit that when it's got the off-road looking wheel on it, but for now we've left them off. So you can see the Transporter HQ Hustle branding's gone on it, which um, really set it off. We decided to go instead of like a really bold kind of dark black colour on the sign writing, try and keep it quite subtle so it's not in your face but kind of makes you look twice but I really like it. I think it's just not O2T, oh, not too OTT in your face. Sunstrip added so we went for the standard H, uh, Transport HQ cut out on this side and then added gloss black hustle made graphics on the top corner there. So the other thing exterior we added was the sequential side repeaters just to give it that little bit more detail. We do have new headlights coming for this. People keep asking, but we've got a T6.1, our own version of LED headlights. The sample should arrive in two or three weeks. So we'll get a set on this for when it comes back. So as I said previously, this is gonna come back to us in a couple of weeks and we're gonna work our magic on the inside. Anyway, let's take you inside. So up front here, not a lot's changed other than we've retrimmed the seat. So similar to we did to the ice blue van, if you've seen the interior on that, we've gone for the Dynamica finish on the centre, keeping that nice original OEM fabric on the outside, but just adding that little bit of luxury and comfort on the inside. So nice uh, Dynamica with a 10 mil scrim foam just to get, get, give it a bit of depth and added the stitching lines like a Caravelle would have. This has got heated seats on it, so um, heat travels through these nicely still. Um, the cab line has been done in carpet on this one, so we've decided to change that because eventually in the back here we're going to have a halo with the twinkly stars. So we wanted to darken this so it kind of matched going through. So taking you into the back, a lot of people have seen this in the background on one of the videos and they've asked us about it. So this is an oak veneer floor that comes from a company called Van Furniture. Check it out, it's a really nice floor. Uh, really sets it off high end, not cheap, but you get what you pay for. I think we'll definitely put this in some more builds because I do really like it. The other thing we've done in the back here, so carpet line and insulation throughout just to make it cosier and quieter for now while we're waiting for the interior to come, kind of getting it ready for the stage when it becomes its finished setup. So you'll see why that's why the electrics are down the bottom there. This whole headline is going to change and be a lot more fancy than this. Uh, van shades added now at this stage just because we love van shades, gives it the privacy in here. So you can see on the back window there, the Hustle logo looked really nice actually. I did an Instagram story recently where the sun came around and projected the Hustle logo on the floor here. Worked really well. Diesel heater's been mounted down here, so that's fitted underneath the driver's seat. It's not all inst installed or anything yet because we're waiting for uh, the cupboards to go in so we can put the control panel on there. So the Hustle Transmotor HQ graphics have been added all the way around. I think just sets it off really nicely. It's, we didn't want to make it look like a work van, we wanted it to make it look like a promotional vehicle, which is exactly what it is. So hence why the, the branding's not OTT, but works really well with the colour, I think. 
So the other thing we've added, as you can see from the outside here, is the plan was always that Jazz and Craig wanted to have the awning that they could roll out, and this also has the privacy room. So roll the awning out when they're pitched up at boxes or when they're doing exhibition stuff, they can roll the awning out, have the privacy room if they need to, or if it's raining, uh, and just utilize that extra space there just to give them a bit more room than just inside the van. So the other thing you'll probably notice on the inside here is the audio upgrade. So this has had the new Alpine plug and play audio upgrade, which is a nice tweeter kit and a door card speaker kit. Uh, and this is, if it's not on our YouTube channel now, we've done a how to install on this kit for T6 and T6.1 are very similar, but it really finishes it off nicely. The sound improvement is considerable, it's really good. But also it's just a nice detail in these little uh, tweet events with the Alpine logo in, in, the, in the brush metal, just give it a little bit more. I don't know, it just looks a lot nicer, but the sound from them is really impressive. We go When this comes back uh, to have the rear done, we're also going to add the plug and play loom um, subsystem that goes underneath the seat for this, just to give it that base. So this is a great little kit, retails for £330 for this particular model, and a really cheap, cost-effective way and simple way to do an audio upgrade. So look out for the YouTube video that we've done on how to install that. It's relatively easy, pretty much anybody could do it at home. Obviously, Transporter HQ, Air freshener here, cherry flavour one, my personal favourite. So the other thing you'll probably notice from this is the windows look darker. So we decided to stick with the OEM factory genuine combi windows because they were twin sliders on this, but just to give it that bit of privacy and look nicer, we had the windows tinted. So Autodense came, and they also do window tinting and do all our vehicles for us. We just tinted those rear windows just so it's, uh, that's an 80% tint, so it's a dark tint. You can see out quite well, but you can't see in and then as you can see on the rear there, added the matte finish Hustle logo. Again, just so it wasn't too in your face, but um, I think very much sometimes less is more. And if you don't, if you go kind of more subtle with the detailing, actually you pay more attention to it because you kind of have to strain and have a, have a look and think, well, what does that say? I like it, not too in your face. And I hope uh, Jazz and Craig think the same. So there we go, stage one on that van complete. I'm excited for the next chapter in this van, actually. This is kind of just your standard stuff that we wanted to do, but what we've got planned for the inside is pretty interesting. So and that's pretty unique i don't think anybody's done anything exactly like this or i've not seen it anyway but it really is down to how when me and craig were chatting with jazz and worked out what they were trying to get out of a van what suited them most and i think it'll really work so definitely keep watching could be something you might be interested in yourself so hopefully this video for the people that were asking about the hustle van like to give you an update of where we're at with it the next stage will be probably more interesting but just wanted to put this one out there out there to show you what we've done so far hope you like the video please do press the like button share it with anybody else that might be interested if you don't already please do subscribe and ring that little bell to get notifications when the next video comes out as always thanks for watching